Hello everybody, my name is Stuvis Blunt and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase series. And here we are at Sunshine Tidings Co-op with today's video. So let's start with each of the already existing houses. Um, they're going to function the same way that the houses in Sanctuary Hills does. Um, that there's four beds in each house with a table, a plant, and a rug from the Creation Club. And I really wish I could get rid of the ghouls and other dead bodies that are in these houses, but every time I try to pick them up and remove them off the premises, they respawn. And it's raining. Um, so yeah, that kind of takes care of uh, each of the houses. Let's move to the mess hall, and I did add a bunch of lights stringing throughout the settlement, and I will do a night version, night tour. So, like I said, this is the mess hall, so here's some dining area, the bar over there in that corner. Here we got a milk freezer, Coca-Cola, Nuka-Cola, excuse me, uh, refrigerator from Creation Club, my population settlement software uh, the soda found from vault tech so basically kind of everything here as well as I got string lights because you're <laughs> you may notice that they're gonna be appearing very very frequently in my settlements because uh, I don't know I just really like the string lights because they give off a lot of light um, as opposed to other lighting fixtures uh, so in the back is a wind generator, a couple generators to give light into the, uh, the mess hall. Next is one of the two farms, so this was the farm I first started off with. We got just about everything here, at least in this farm. We don't have mute fruit here. Actually, I don't know if we have mute fruit at all. Hmm. No, we don't. Okay, never mind. I have three farms. I thought I only had two. Wow, I don't know. And there's the Brahmin over there in the corner. I wanted to make use of this house, hut, whatever, but you can't build on the inside of it, and it's blocked, so I just put the barber out here. I'm thinking now I probably should... I don't know if I would now, well, now want to make it facing this way. Because that would be more appropriate than... But, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Um, let's see. Oh. Duh. The main, <laughs> the main thing is the giant marketplace. Um, and by marketplace, I only mean the things that provide happiness. So, a clinic, clothing, and general... Um, some scavenging stations, and here we've got our residential junkyard dog, which is the first one in this series, and there will be plenty more. And, uh, I'm thinking there was something else, but I don't know. Oh, a couple of water pumps. A couple of personal water pumps at every, uh, at every hut I didn't use this one because again I only have 16 settlers per settlement since that's my cap and now we will see what it looks like when it's dark out oh wait I wanted to show I forgot um, spawn points for defense so there's one Somewhere over in this vicinity, there's a spawn point for enemies. I forget, that's the thing I need to show off in every video, is spawn points. So there's that over there. Brotherhood out in the distance. Um, there, I think there's three, if I'm not mistaken. Because now I'm starting to question if I conglomerated the turrets, but I did- Oh, they sent something. 
Oh, it's just the gunners that are on the bridge. Okay. Nothing to worry about. And there's already a fire going on, and they might have shot down the brother. Nope, there's the very word. Anyway. <laughs> so I think there's only two defense... Two spawn points, even though I think there's three. There might be one here. And then over in this general area. And then the one back over in that direction. I'm really curious to see if the gunners are going to take down this vertebrate. It looks like they might. Oh no, our, my turret stopped, so I don't know. Oh, maybe they got away with it. Oh, but damn. Uh, anyway. Let's, uh... See what it looks like at night. So I guess there's only two spawn points. I thought there was three. Another seven built. I added a ton more uh, turrets. Oh, then I also replaced the door. Even though you can see it clipping. I replaced the door on that side of the barn. Because normally this one doesn't close. It doesn't line up quite perfectly. But good enough for me. I'm not going to be a complete perfectionist. But uh, yeah, I'll finally... Show you guys what this looks like at night. And here we are once again at night this time around, and it's a pretty well lit settlement. Maybe not over in this corner, but you got two lights out on the porch, one inside. Then you got the string of lights in front of every home. I don't know actually why I put one here, even though there's nobody in it. Same here, but. Yeah. Um, then already you get some natural lighting from in here. That's already there and this light out here. And then the inside. Which is kind of looking a little dim over here, but you know, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, pretty well lit and uh, yeah, it's just a really kind of Cool. Solomon, I think it's probably one of my... I think it's probably one of my favorite Solomons, and I'm not sure why. I think it's probably just because this is a really big Solomon that you get early on in the game. I think it's... I think it's more or less the reason why. I'm not... I don't know. This is one of my favorite Solomons to work on. Yeah, because it is really big. Other than that, so, uh... So, yeah. That's it for Sunshine Tidings. Next will be... Oh yeah, let's do Starlight Driving. Whoa, next time. So yeah. That's safe. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys did this for you, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll get you guys next time.